What's going on guys? Welcome back to James RC Garage. Today's video, uh, Hulk's gonna get six millimeters wider. Picked up a set of these off of Amazon. Part number X002EOIUF3. Show you the part number here. Work for the Capri UTB and SCX103 as well. Black brass. So let's get these open. Uh, give them a weight, and then uh, see what uh, Hulk looks like. Don't mind Hulk, he is still a little bit dirty from the trail run the other day. I blew him off a little bit and WD-40 did his, his, uh, his bearings. Um, but uh, I do need to get into the diffs, or not the diffs, the, uh, the, uh, the portals and uh, check the grease in there and stuff for pins, screw in hex pins. All right, so let's grab out the scale. Get that on. Get one of these out. Flying. So it's smooth in the back here, so it won't push up against your bearing very well, very much. Um, obviously, put the pin through there in that hole there, and then uh, the hex weighs. So we're gonna add, be adding it uh, five grams to each corner. So five, ten, twenty grams total. Heck yeah. That's without the hardware, obviously. Um, I don't think my scale goes high enough to give Hulk a weight. Um, there's pounds. Let me see where it tops out. Top out at 11 pounds, 12 pounds ish. Um, so let's see if we can do this here. Get him a good weight for you guys. I think he's over the 12 pound mark though, to be honest with you guys. That's wow. That that way is that's pretty light. Eight point eight ounces. We'll zero that out. And then straighten that out so we got something straight to come down on. Hopefully, I think we're going to top out the Hulk is now, right now, 10 pounds, 10.5 pounds, or 10.6 pounds. So, 10 for 10 pounds, 0 ounces, 0.6. So, that is very interesting. That's without the battery. So, cool. He's a 10 pound truck. It'll be 
10 pounds. Let's see what all four of these, uh, get this stand out of the way. We'll just, uh, all right, we'll zero that back out. Then we'll go back to, oh, we don't want full loot ounces. Oops, we want grams. There we go, there's one. Five grams. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. So, all right. Let's go to. Whoops. Hit the wrong button there. Okay. So we are at 19, 20 grams ish. Point six ounces. So yeah, it should put us up at uh, 10.01 pounds, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. All right, let's get them on, see how they look on Hulk. And then we'll give them a new weight. So, I believe it's gonna be Yes, it is. Alright. I'll do the portals on a different day. I'll check it in there and check them out. Make sure there's no water in them. Put fresh grease in. You know, the whole full kit and caboodle. Get this grass out of here. Not work. 
out of there. Okay, it's got a lip right there. And we do have a little bit of a lip there. I mean, there is a lip on that. Not much difference. down a little bit so I can get this to fit on Hulkster and uh, that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna pause you guys and we'll be right back all right guys took my little piece of sandpaper here we got uh, what is this like 320 grit something like that nice and fine stuff a little bit of pressure you can see that I you know there's still a little bit there but we took down enough I do believe so let's go ahead and uh, slide this on here and now let's check our pin let's see if we can get that slid in there pretty nice and easy now Oh yeah. Okay, so
right back, guys. All right, guys, it's on. Got her on there. She just snugs up on there, so I, I had to take a little bit off. But other than that, we should be set. suck it in that's what that's gonna do let's see where are my other ones here they are these are my 15 millimeter that I could run both ways with the pin in or through the true to screw here. Which is what I think we're gonna do. And then we're gonna put these trails on Echo. It's not gonna add any weight, but with Give me some stability and we love stability and if the 15 millimeter don't work well we will try and try again until we succeed Try and try until we succeed. It's looking like it wants the pin. So, slide the pin in. And that's how we'll do that. extension guys I should have tried this a long time ago <laughs> look at that so you can see how much further the wheel brings out now it compared to stock That brings that out, that wheel stands out quite a bit. And I think that's how we're gonna run Hulkster guys. So I'll be right back. Ah, guys, I should have did this stance a long time ago. I mean, the wire, the, water, the tire sticking out like this compared to Pretty much, uh, front always, front winds always stick out on a four wheel drive a little bit, and the rear fenders are always, you know, flush. Uh, but now, now we got a good, uh, we got a good fingers length, fingers width, well, my fingers width anyway, and that's it's kind of a fat finger. Uh, going on on this here guys 
so I figure I'll show you putting the last two sides on. Finish digging out my uh, my uh, uh, hub nuts here. Bam, bam. Pick that up. Get all this mud out of here. Guess I didn't blow it off as well as I thought I did. It's all right. She'll get a good bath here. When it warms, when it's warm again, well, well, it's still warm today. It's hitting about 82 degrees, um, but uh, wife has the truck, so she's at work. And I'm watching the kiddo, so. Just here experimenting and playing with new parts. And old parts, seeing what works, what doesn't work. The whole point of this hobby, right guys? Oh. Man, it's gonna look mean on the trails now, guys. Hulk is gonna look mean as hell, guys. Mean. He's already looking mean. <laughs> Alright, get that stuff out of the way. my rag, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll get a new one. Okay. Oh, I know why that's all greasy from the shocks leaking. Yup, 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 yup. So that bearing should not be, should not get rusty at all. In my opinion. <laughs> right. Slide you on. Yeah, it even smells like shock oil. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to get in there and check the seals and do some maintenance on the shocks. Seated on all the way. You are. I 
Heck yeah. Just like back in the day when uh, in the old school Broncos, you put the wide tires on and deep dish rims, wagon wheels back then. Heck yeah. There we go guys, there is his stance. Now, now we may rub a little bit more when we're flexing, but uh, I am okay with that. It does get up into the fender a little bit, but uh, shit, we'll be okay. Heck yeah, guys. There you go. Hulk with his new wide stance. Hope you guys like that look, because I know I do. Now we just need to get some brass for on the portal covers here. And uh, I got um, some Trio 30, what are they, 36 gram. Um, diff covers for him, for Hulk, for the Gen 8, uh, saved on, uh, on my on me Amazon, which um, if I can get this whole uh, pre-order deal figured out with FMS, um, my funds that I have left over will be the diff covers for Hulkster. So, there you have it guys, um, hit that notification bell to get notified when I do drop videos like this, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, as always guys, we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.